What is up and welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna be cleaning the Forester, bringing it in here to dry off, starting the STI, and then doing a couple other things like cleaning up my mess of tools and stuff in here. But that's not what today's video is about. You probably clicked on this because you either were here back when we launched it, or you're wondering I even had one. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about what happened to my car brand. Some of you are probably even asking yourself, I had a car brand in the first place. Well, yeah, that was called Future Prospects. And if you guys were, um, are pretty old to the channel, you'll know, remember it. From almost two years ago at this point, we had cars and coffee, we had meetups, and we had all sort of stuff. So yeah, Future Prospects. Well, it wasn't exactly my car brand. It was a group of us. There was three of us, and they've all been on the channel. It's Taylor, Adrian, and David. And what was Future Prospects? Well, it was kind of a... 80s, 90s, Japanese car culture inspired um, brand. So yeah, it really embraced the Japanese car culture of the 80s and 90s. And that's kind of what we attribute to the car culture here now in Alberta and so forth. So like we're talking the old Nissans, the old um, Toyotas, Subarus, all those kind of cars like Initial D and all that kind of stuff. Um, we had a really solid, I, I was really proud of it, um, Instagram page with solid um, social media presence, the social media um, styling. It was very, as I said, um, synthwave, out, um, outrun, purple and pink, constant style throughout the whole thing, kind of vintage photography, um, such as film using kind of like those effects and stuff and light leaks, which now looking back at it, now being a film photographer, honestly didn't reflect it as much. And if I was to do something different, I'd actually be incorporating real film photos in there. But as I said, this is a what happens, not what's going on. So as you can probably tell, Future Prospects is gonna be no more. Um, but that's not to per se, I'm not gonna have a car brand. That's just saying Future Pro Prospects itself isn't gonna be as it was. brings a question, why did it fail or what happened? Well, what happened is it was actually pretty successful. I would especially say for our first time ever trying this, um, it was actually extremely successful. We got a pretty good following pretty quickly and we had we were selling relatively good amount of decals and so forth. Um, and we actually had some large brands start to notice us, or large groups. One in particular was So Scare um, here in Calgary, which was pretty cool to see them recognize such a small little group. But um, really, it was a great plan. It just wasn't executed correctly. There's too many cooks in the kitchen, to per se. So as I said, there's four of us, and the jobs weren't really spread out evenly. Um, so more people, or people are doing some things and then other people were doing a lot of other things. So it just really didn't work out. The logistics behind it was pretty complicated. So that's kind of what eventually happened. And that's kind of why it vanished because the logistics was just too hard to um, figure out. And there's too many people doing too many, not, not enough people doing too many things. And yeah, it was, it was just got really um, unorganized real quickly. So that's kind of why it died out. Um, and that's why it kind of, for the last year, kind of was put on the sidelines. Um, but essentially, this is the video saying that it no longer exists, I guess. Um, but that's not to per se, I won't have a brand myself. And I mean, the whole journey was a lot of fun. Um, we actually did, as I said, some pretty cool events. We had our cars and coffee. We had some pretty cool meetups. We got to shoot some pretty cool rollers as a group. So that was all a lot of fun. But as I said, it just didn't work out. And that's where we get to now and what is going to come up. I can't tell you what exactly I'm doing, but I can tell you I'm doing some pretty cool things. Of course the battery's dead because while well, I left it for three months, it's only been three months, but what we're gonna do is we're letting it charge up um, and we're then gonna turn it over using the classic pull the fuse method and get some oil circulating and then we're gonna let it idle for probably 10, 15 minutes just to get it up to temp. And then we're gonna shut off and leave it for another couple months. But anyways, while this is charging, let's talk more about 
what's to come. So with that being said, and future prospects kind of moving on to the past, I think it's important to note that really, especially in entrepreneurship and all that kind of um, startups and stuff, that you never really succeed on your first try. You're always learning, and I definitely learned a lot through this process, so hopefully I can take that process and move it forwards to my next project. And now talking about my next project, I can't really say much because it's still in the works, but as you probably know, it's something similar for future prospects, probably more directed towards the channel in particular, which is probably better for branding and so forth. But what I would say to that is make sure you're following me, well, on this channel. This channel is going to be where I announce it, obviously. But also on my social media, at Trader Labs, right here. Um, and that's where our, all our car stuff is. I know a lot of you guys follow me also on my Chase Trader stuff. That's more of a general ch um, channel, but if you want just car stuff, at Trader Labs, we got the Forester that is now drying because I washed it, and the STI that is going to be doing a lot more races. Um, with that being said, I got two important videos with the STI very soon. One about oil pickups and um, being careful and not blowing up your motor, and another one how to class your car for autocross and what that means. Because I learned a lot this season in autocross, which I would have thought, especially it seems like some of you guys want to do that too. So if I can pass that along to you guys, that would be awesome. Um, and then more keeping in mind if you guys want autocross in the future, but don't want autocross now um, with modifying your cars. Because I was one of those people that modified my car and then said, hey, I want to race after, and then realized I messed up. Time to check and get some oil pressure. Everything looking good. We got field pressure. We have no oil temp because, well, oil temp, we got oil pressure and it's idling right around where it should be when it's cold. So yeah, we'll just let it get up to probably the first notch on our coolant temp and then have some oil temperature and then we'll shut it off. But you know it's a good tune when it's been sitting for four months, three months, I said, and it's um, started right like that. Well, I think that's it. We are down to our normal idle. We're down to our normal oil temp, and, or not oil temp, um, oil pressure. And we have some oil temp, so everything looks good. Just did it once over on the engine bay, so I think it's time to shut it off. And with that being said, there we go. The STI is been started up and it's warmed up and put away. I put the battery charger back on it and unplugged the battery, so we got that for us. And then the Forester is sitting in the garage drying off, so we can hopefully do something really cool in the next video, so watch out for that. That will be next Friday. But anyways, that is going to be it for today, so I hope you guys now know what happened to Future Prospects. Uh, do I have? Yes, I do have some Future Prospects stuff on this wall, actually. That's Future Prospects in, I believe, Japanese? Um, but yeah, that is going to be it. Oh, you know what else I got? I got so much so many stickers, it's not even funny. We got our original slaps right here, and we got our die cuts right here. But yeah, so I hope you guys know exactly what happened with Future Prospects now, so you kind of um, can see that when I start changing the channel um, assets over, you know why we're doing that. But yeah, I would definitely stay tuned to definitely my um, social media account and this, um, the social media account being Trader Labs, as I said before, that is a um, just the car one and I've been really active on that trying to get out some really cool content because over these years I've got a lot of photos of my car so hopefully sharing with sharing you guys with those but that is going to be it for today so as always peace out and stay humble